Hello everyone, Joe Thatcher here with Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. What I'm in today is a 2006 Oshkosh M1120A2. Uh, it has the PLS hook lift system. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate that system. We've got a flat rack around back. We're going to cruise back there in this and kind of show you some of the characteristics of this vehicle that we have for sale. Come on aboard. All right, so we're in the truck now, uh, as you can see. Uh, this particular unit has had a red dot AC system installed. This is not a factory system, it's actually an aftermarket system for these. But overall, keeps the cab ice cold. I've got a low setting right now. You can pop it up to high. Um, we're going to go back here to our back lot and go ahead and hook on to the hook lift and see what this thing is all about. We'll have to start by engaging the PTO switch whenever we get over there uh, and kind of demonstrate how hooking and unhooking to a flat rack with a PLS works. These trucks are very remote, uh, very maneuverable as the front axles are both steer axles. Uh, so that way you're able to get in here. We've got a flat rack right over here, right next to one of our 1070s. A couple of different flat racks. We're gonna get spun around here. We're gonna back up and get as square as we can to the unit. We're actually not going to be hooking onto the tan box today. That's a mechanic shelter. Those are also available for purchase. The truck itself does not come with a flat rack. Uh, however, we do have some available. Uh, very rarely do these 1120s come available in public hands. I only know of about five or six uh, that have been surplused. So finding one of these, especially this new and being an A2 model in civilian hands is pretty rare. So as you can see behind us, we've got the flat rack. We're going to go ahead and jump out. And uh, actually, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and run the hook back on it. So there's a control over here, which you're probably not able to see. Uh, this is what actually runs the hook. We're going to go ahead and lay the hook back and get set up to be able to hook to this. Uh, we're going to pull it up onto the back of the truck and make it all happen. So waiting for the hook to come back, I'm going to idle it up a little bit here. Speed this up a smidge. That hook will lay all the way over and then there's a set of rollers on the back that will go back and show you uh, that actually pull and help guide the flat rack in and then there's locking pins for transport. So we can load a Humvee on this flat rack right now. We can load a 20 foot Connex. Really, the versatility of a flat rack system and a hook and lift system in general is just very, very, very handy. Uh, you know, there's a lot of features, a lot of different versatility with this vehicle. Makes a truck that normally would just be a flatbed truck or a cargo truck with a crane. Uh, gives you a lot of different options on being able to use the vehicle. So let's go ahead and hop out now. We've got the hook laid back and go over the flat rack itself.
So as you can see here, this is actually the hook lift assembly. This is what's going to grab right here. Uh, flat, flat racks in general have tie downs on them. This one also has ISO locks. This is a little bit newer one with container tie downs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed to back the truck up a little bit more. I'm a little crooked, as you can see. Um, I'll get squared up with it, and we'll go ahead and hook this on here. And this roller assembly, you'll notice whenever we go to pull the rack up, it'll help roll this flat rack up onto it. So as you can see, I've grabbed the rack. Go ahead and shut the roll. The rack will self-align. We'll let the truck roll. I'm actually going to creep up a little bit just to help everything up. I'll be doing this, but you know I'm not a pro. <laughs> So as you can see, even though I wasn't fully square on the rack, it's going to start self-centering. Let's hit the rollers. We're pulling it up. Going to bring it the rest of the way down. And I'll go ahead and show you how you pin the flat rack on. That way you can run it down the highway. So once again, going back to the versatility of a hook lift system, very convenient. Exit the vehicle again. I've got the flat rack pulled up onto the back of this. Um, wasn't as graceful as I would have liked it to be, but then again, I wasn't very square with it. Uh, it does have safety pins here. These safety pins you're able just to slide in and lock it for cargo transport, so that way this thing is not going anywhere. Uh, as you can see, these runners here hold it in as well. So. Overall, just wanted to give a brief demonstration of the flat rack system and how they work. Not a lot of them out there, uh, especially the newer Oshkoshes like this. So this one's available right now on our website. If you want to check out more awesome products and more awesome builds, we're going to be doing a lot more tutorials and a lot more videos. Uh, you can find us online at MidwestMilitaryEquipment.com. Make sure to subscribe and like our channel. Thanks.